What's going on guys, Sunny aka The Random Recorder here. So today I'm going to be giving you guys my personal impressions and thoughts about Elden Ring, which is the new game from From Software, the makers of the Dark Souls games and Sekiro Shadow Set Twice. And there it's kind of, uh, it's the director of Sekiro and they're collaborating with George R. R. Martin, who made, uh, for those of you who don't know, he writes the Game of Thrones books that the show is based off of. And, well actually he hasn't finished the series yet. So, the, it's like when the anime gets ahead of the manga, you know what I'm saying? And then the anime, you see a noticeable drop in quality, right? That's what happened with Game of Thrones. So, George R. R. Martin was not responsible for, like, season 8, if you're wondering, right? But anyway, so, um, the current rumors are that it's going to be based on Norse mythology, and obviously it's kind of based around this central artifact, uh, which I think is that's kind of what they did with Sekiro, because it was based around... You know, the, the rebirth, your dragon's heritage, I believe, and that kind of led all to Kuro, who was your master in the game, for those of you who don't know. And it all kind of boiled down to him, and so I think Elden Ring is going to feature... It's going to work in a very similar way, you know. I, I don't know, it could be a quest to kind of um, get it, or destroy it, kind of like how, again, with Sekiro, you had to... You were protecting, your, you were protecting Kuro, but you also wanted to sever the divine curse you didn't want anyone to have it anymore because it caused a disease that was spreading and things like that and i gotta say i'm very excited because Sekiro shadows at twice if you don't know it is it has very deep and interesting and and just genuinely cool great lore right it has some of my favorite video game lore right and so to see the the way that the lore was executed right and the the, the people behind that they're going to be collaborating with george R. R. martin who created one of the greatest, considered, something that is considered one of the greatest fictional universes of all time, you know, I think they're going to be able to come together very well here, you know, with the execution of the story and the execution of lore and things like that, and I really want to um, see where they go. You know, gameplay-wise, I think they're going to do a great job with Sekiro. I think they kind of perfected what they wanted with Dark Souls, where it was a good balance of, you know, it was challenging, but it was also rewarding, you know what I'm saying? With Dark Souls, it felt... You know, I think it, it feels great when you beat a boss, right? But with Sekiro, it's, 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 it's nothing really like that, you know? And what, one of my favorite parts about Sekiro was it was also very strategy-based, you know? You had to learn about an enemy, you had to try a bunch of things, and eventually you find something that clicks and you're able to beat it easily. So I'm hoping they can, and, and, and you kind of feel rewarded for that. You feel rewarded for trying and things like that. So I think that, I'm hoping at least, that Elden Ring is able to kind of deliver on that and, you know, feel the same way, work the same way, and yeah, that's kind of what I'm hoping for here. So those are my personal initial thoughts and impressions from Elden Ring, showed off at Xbox's E3 2019 presentation. If you guys had something to say about the game, make sure to let me know down in the comment section below. If you like this video, obviously, be sure to leave a like, subscribe today to join the TR Army, and keep the notification bell in case you want to be notified of our future uploads. That's going to be all, that's going to be all for today, Random Recorders, peace out.